now, if you need to talk any more. Well, today is February 22nd. We're outside of Palm Springs. We were photographing back plates for Federer. He's uh, taking a road trip. He's been photographed in the studio. We've just photographed the car here on the open road, American Desert. Well, this location was chosen because it offers a great foreground, nice rolling hills and road descending into the background, which also has mountains. It's a real classic U.S. road trip location. This is kind of one of the places where people always dream of driving through the, the southwestern desert to, to be free. It brings that feeling to the shot. Being on the road, yeah, that's my life. Uh, I do it every day of the year, basically, for 11 to 12 months. So it's a lot of traveling, a lot of organization. So I think this shoot uh, feels really natural for me uh, in a natural environment, you know, sort of being on the road. This would look like an absolute dream car to do like Route 66 or just go in the desert and in some pretty weather, nice setting so you can enjoy the whole scenery. It feels special sitting in the car, I'd love to drive it but this is for another time hopefully. Jim Fiskus, who's the photographer, was chosen to shoot today because of his style and what he'd bring to the table, really, in terms of the way it would look. And his ability to also manage shooting in a studio and then shooting on location, merging the two images together to make it look totally realistic, to create an environment that actually didn't exist. We have now completed our second shot of the day, which is the vehicle in front of the hotel. This one actually is very complicated because what we've done is we've selected a location and we've had Roger lit right to left and with our location, the sun is on the opposite direction. So we flopped the image and we therefore had to shoot it in a reversed fashion shoot the signage in a reverse fashion and then take the vehicle out and rotate it 180 degrees. Well today I think I like the motorcycle best because Roger really got on that thing and rode. He, he claims that he doesn't ride but he appeared as if he does. He did a great job. He's incredibly pleasant and really very, very professional. It's not always the case with people like very well-known sportsmen. They don't handle this side of the business well, but he does perfectly. You know, and there's been a lot of good people here, and it's nice working in Switzerland anyway. Well, I've won a motorcycle once uh, years ago in an exhibition in Austria, and I remember getting onto the bike all happy. My friend brought it in, you know, who's an Austrian tennis player. And I got onto the bike, and I right away burned my calf muscle on the exhaust pipe. And I was like, ah! Oh, and I was like smiling, being all happy. And I, leg was burning <laughs> and then uh, you know I brought it back to Switzerland. He's done great. I mean he's very patient and in fact he chose to redo one of the shots that we just completed a moment ago. He wanted his legs to be in a better position and as a photographer that's great because normally I deal with people that are moving very quickly but he actually cares. 